you know what, I'm sorry. You got issues. <laughs> Parma, Parma Heights and Seven Hills residents spent two hours hammering the Parma School Board about a massive budget deficit that was just unveiled several weeks ago. Parma parents like Tony Zarlinga are now facing serious cuts that will have a big impact on their children. What's Parma doing with their money? And we have $7 million we can't account for. We have the highest paid staff. Now some residents are blaming the former Parma Schools treasurer. How could such a large budget shortfall be missed? And why didn't state auditors catch such a massive accounting error? Residents are demanding answers from the school board. It's the state reporting, it's the state auditors reporting, and it's the school board reporting. There is a paper trail here. The paper trail needs to be looked at. How are you going to get this done? You know, that's a difficult decision. Relatively new, Parma Superintendent Carl Hilling says it's a massive budget deficit he inherited. Now he's forced to submit a complete budget plan to the state of Ohio by September 30th as to how the district will dig itself out of debt. Angry residents feel that they've been left out of the process as to where cuts should be made and are demanding the board ask the state for an extension. How that got out of a whack, I'm not sure mismanagement? But it seems every question I asked the superintendent, he seemed to have few answers with the budget plan deadline just two weeks away. Will you have to close buildings? Uh, I'm not sure because we have to make a uh, proposal to the state. We have to make a proposal to the board.